Hi guys, welcome back. Really excited about this one. The Atoto A6 Pro Android in-car entertainment system. Company Atoto reached out to me recently and offered to send me out one of these if I could install it and set up in my car and show you guys how it works. Now you can buy these from Amazon and this is the pro version. So this is around about 260 pounds. I basically call this, uh, it's like having a tablet in your car. So it'll be obviously Android. You'll have GPS on there, navigation. There's also Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, radio. They've also sent me out a rear camera, which you can connect a rear camera to this. Two gigs of RAM and 32 gigabytes of storage. And it does accept up to 256 gigs of SD card as well. So you get manuals. You get screen protectors for the device as well, which is great. These look like mounting brackets. And there are a few cables in here as well. So there's going to be GPS, uh, Wi-Fi, which will all plug into the back. You also get an external microphone if you want to use that. But there is an internal built-in one. So I don't know if you're really going to need to use that. USB cable here. So that will go straight into the back of the head unit. And this will give you two USB ports. A quick charge USB and easy connection USB cable as well. So I think you can um, set up Android Auto. And a few more cables here, which are gonna go into the back of the head unit, I'd imagine. And this is it. The head unit. Never installed one of these before. I've installed the traditional CD player and stuff in the car, but not one of these. Clicky buttons, home. Next, volume up and down, power, USB port there, auxiliary and micro SD card, and there, the microphone. Oh, wow. Cannot wait. So here we go at the back, guys. Uh, I'm not entirely sure exactly what all these ports are going to do, but you can get a good idea. USB. There we go, look, Wi-Fi, connector, GPS. The antenna, your normal radio antenna that will plug into the back of any traditional head unit. USB-A, USB again. Front right, front left. Subwoofer, so you can connect an amplifier to this as well. Main power, super. That is it. So next job, I need to get it in my Vectra. Okay, so we're gonna put the A6 Pro into a Vauxhall car, this is a Vauxhall Astra and has the CD30 built-in stereo, so let's take it out. So now we have this huge void to fill to put this in. Depending on the make of your vehicle, you will need to order uh, an adapter. So this is the wiring harness. This is compatible with uh, Vauxhalls. And as you can see, that will go straight into here. Right, clipped in. I have this other block here. Uh, this is the other bit of the cable I ordered. They should go together. There we go. And at the end of there, that bit goes directly into the back of the, the tow tie. On some units, so this one, you will you will probably need to get uh, an adapter for this to fit your for your car or your stereo for your aerial. So I managed to get an adapter for mine. So the aerial and that bit plugs into whatever comes from your car. So that, then like that. Then this will go back in to the back of the stereo. Okay, so at the moment, this will just work as a standard stereo power and radio. Now let's try and get Wi-Fi and GPS connected. So if we plug uh, Wi-Fi in, there's the cable. Now you can obviously route this wherever you want in your car, it's entirely up to you. It's got plenty of uh, flex on there. And the same with the uh, GPS as well. Okay, so now these antennas, antennas will both give you good 
range of signal. Now you also get this cable with the Ototo. It is USB and it provides two uh, USB connections there. Again, you can route this however you want in the car and you plug that in up there. There you go. And they're even labeled as well. One says easy connection and the other says uh, quick charge. So in the next shot, everything should look nice and neat. Okay, so that is in. It's just about neat. Um, for a Vauxhall, I just need to maybe buy, you can buy the um, the surroundings there, the edges of the uh, on a Vauxhall, just to fill them in to look, make it look extra neat. I routed the USB cables through, so you can just see there, just around the, just under the, uh, the passenger side footwell with the labels on so I can plug my phones into there whatever and charge them. So all that's left to do now is turn the ignition on and power it up. And the lights have just come on, here we go. So you can go to settings, it isn't normal Android device, so you're going to get, um, if you are familiar with Android devices, let's turn the brightness down a touch. That's better. Um, scroll down to the bottom. About device, A6 Pro, Android 6, tells you the build number as well. You can update this, but you need to have uh, apply the update on a micro SD card. Plug it into there and you can update it straight from there. There will be an update available, I'm sure. You can go onto the a, a Toto My Support website. I'm going to quickly set up um, with Wi Fi, connect to my smartphone, and we'll test a few things out. Okay, so I've updated all the apps, so it's up to date. I've also connected it to my home Wi Fi. Uh, home Wi Fi, I'm just like a few feet away anyway, so we'll pick my Wi Fi up. If you press the soft button there, the down arrow. Oop. There we go. So let's turn the brightness down a touch because it's a little bit. Okay. So it's connected to my BT hub. A few other settings there screenshot, Bluetooth, settings, sound, uh, speed up as well. I'm not sure what that is. I think that might have cleared um, apps or something that might have been open. I'm not too sure. Okay. Radio is there. And let's get tuned in. Uh, 98.8 should be ready. There we go. Yep, so that mutes. Bring it down. Okay, so that is working. I don't want to get hit for copyright, because you can hear all that. Um, but I'm quite impressed with the, the sound quality, it's no different to a um, sort of a normal stereo anyway. Sound quality seems to be pretty decent. Um, but you can add favourites and stuff like that. You can search for uh, frequencies if you can't find your own up there. So obviously this is the, the bread and butter for a um, normal stereo. Well, normally is the old radio. We go home and the radio is still playing in the background. And you can stop that there like that. With um, a few extra little bits. Uh, I've got some more apps. Got YouTube, so you can watch a bit of YouTube. Let's see if we've got me on there. Yeah, my channel. How brilliant is this, eh? Videos and touch is good. The response from touching is um is excellent. I've had no problems there. Let's play that. Obviously, I wouldn't uh, advise watching videos while driving, uh, but maybe you can pop. Something on for the kids, so around. Skip ad. There we go. And of course, I do about touch as well. I'm going to test a couple of games today Asphalt 9 and PUBG Mobile. Let's get into it. Okay, here we go. How oh, brilliant is that, eh? So this is on default uh, medium settings at the moment. Okay, so if you click home, that will take you straight home. Now, obviously, um, if you're not next to your house, and you're never, not really gonna be using it like this, you can't connect to your Wi-Fi. 
So you can connect your mobile hotspot, which I'll show you now. So let's disconnect from from there, keep your finger on it. Let's turn Wi-Fi on. Okay, it's automatically connecting to my home Wi-Fi, but I've got my Honor 10 light that I'm using. Let's connect to that, a nice secure password, eight ones. Connect and should obtain an IP address. Connected, no internet. That will change in a moment. There we go. So, um, providing you have a data plan or whatever on your mobile device, then you should still be able to use this. So it should play still. There we go. Let's skip it on because it was it was buffered. So it might have been buffered from the old. Uh, connection so let's try got <coughs> I've got 4G oh, bug it up there right. so now we're on mobile data um, and it work will work exactly the same you can have access to the Play Store oh, exactly the same go home Spotify as well which is a brilliant brilliant app you can have on uh, on here Connect to your mobile device, sign in. I don't actually have a, a Spotify account actually, but um, this is something that you people could make use of if they do have Spotify. Easy connection. Now this is not uh, something I've tried as of yet, uh, but I may be doing a a full video, proper full video once I've been using it a little bit more. Um, Android Wi-Fi. Then you'd need to connect your phone into USB port here. And you better use easy connection. They so can use them um, stereo, um, obviously hands free. So you can connect Bluetooth to your mobile device and use the basically the system here to make calls, receive calls, which is great. Now DVR look in the back. I have received a camera with this setup, but I haven't yet installed that. Um, the camera will be installed at the back of the car, but at this point you'd see uh, the rear of your car, which will help with uh, parking. So that's another another great feature there. Uh, but the display is really good. It's nice and sharp, crisp, and like I said, touch as well. It, uh, it's responsive. You don't have to be double pressing things all the time. Um, it's great, it really is. It says he's deeply sorry Ooh. after the car crash. He I think that would do now, guys. Um, oh, you do get an app draw button. Look, so you can go in there. I've got a few more things. GPS test. Let's try that actually quickly. There we go. Accuracy um, 10 feet, 9 feet, which is good. I mean, I mean, that's really good. 8 feet now. Uh, that's very, very good accuracy. Nine, 8, 9 feet 3D fix. So, um, yeah, obviously rooting around your car. Make sure you put it in a decent position. It's down to seven feet now for accuracy, which is super. So I'll be using this definitely for navigation to and from work. It will be brilliant for home. Go back to the app drawer again. Yeah, there's loads more stuff in there actually in the um, the app drawer, which I nearly forgot about. <laughs> DVD player, voice search, quick charge. So you can change from quick charge or to standard charge. That's good. Yeah, I think in one of my next videos, I think I'll do a fully uh, GPS test navigation with the camera set up securely somewhere, and um, you can see a little bit of my journey. Um, but that, guys, is about it. Auto kit. Please insert the product. Not entirely sure what that is. Uh, but on the Atoto website, you can buy other accessories. You can buy a DAB radio. Um, so you have digital radio on here. But yeah, I mean, that is it, guys. That's the unboxing, installation, and a quick look at the, the Toto A6 Pro. Definitely worth a look, guys. Obviously, make sure it's compatible with your car before purchasing. It's got to fit into this void here. And obviously, buying the harness adapters as well. So that will fit um, in your car. Uh, but any questions, guys, please comment below. There will be links to this in the description. And also, there's um, I think there's offers. So there's these codes you can paste into the basket. Uh, or the checkout, you should get some money off. Cool bit of kit, and I really can't wait to start using it properly. 
So thanks for watching, guys. Give the video a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.